All right, buddy, perfect. A plus. You can let go of the wheel now. Really, A plus? Did you notice I used the proper hand signals? Yeah, and did you notice those guys that flipped you the improper hand signal when they passed you? <laughs> Look, Joe, we were within 200 yards of a school. You're automatically supposed to slow down to 25. They were reckless. They were Amish. <laughs> Joe, if I pass my test tomorrow... Uh, uh, when you pass your test tomorrow. When I pass my test tomorrow. It's all gonna change, right, Joe? You're talking about the babes, aren't you, Matt? Babes. Tell me about babes, Joe. <laughs> All I'll say is it's a heck of a lot more fun to have a girl in the back seat when your mom's not in the front seat. How am I gonna drive from the back seat? <laughs> Joe, I couldn't sleep. Tell that to that puddle of drool. <laughs> Look, I just want to make sure that I am 100% prepared. Matt, will you relax? Look, you are a very good driver. You have to be, because you were taught by me, all right? Yeah, I wish you were giving me that test instead of old man Hangarter. It makes me nervous, Joe. Well, here's a little trick. When you look at Hangarter, just picture him as a beautiful babe who loves to watch you drive. That'll help you relax. No, it won't. Girls make me nervous, too. <laughs> Yep, you heard right. Today is the day. Sure, I'll swing by and pick you up Monday for school. No problem. <laughs> well, I can't guarantee a shotgun because I've had a lot of calls. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Was I right? You were right! Yep. Yes. Wow, you guys are up early. Yeah, well, today's a big day. Say goodbye to your little boy. Goodbye, little boy. Oh, come on, Mom. I'm very proud of you. I haven't passed yet. Mr. Hangar is tough. I know he is. Boy, he flunked me, Lloyd, and your father. Hell, I think he flunked Henry Ford. <laughs> I gotta pass. I gotta pass. Now, will you relax? You're gonna be burning rubber up and down South Street before you know it. Not my Matt. He's cautious and careful. What's that supposed to mean? Show me another boy who gave his mother non-skid daisies for the bathtub. <laughs> Has anybody slipped? Has anybody ever slipped? <laughs> and what other son came up with an evacuation plan in case of nuclear attack? I always wondered what this map was here for. Okay, if you'll excuse me, for the last time in my life, I have to walk to school. You know, Claire, I have to tell you, you're really taking this well. I mean, most moms freak out when their firstborn son starts to drive. Not me. But he does know how to drive, right? Yes, he's a very safe driver and also a very good kid. Almost too good. You sure he doesn't have some evil twin around here somewhere? No, no, I was at the birth. I probably would have noticed. <laughs> Do I have an evil twin? <laughs> you certainly do, and he usually comes out right around bedtime. Excellent. Maybe it's time we let him out during the day. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to see me, Mr. Hangar? Ah, uh, Mr. Roman. Enter. Sit. <laughs> I was just reviewing your record. And? You have a firm grasp of comparative braking distances on the full array of road surfaces. Thank you, sir. However, I do have a problem stemming from this morning's driving test. I thought I did pretty well. Technically, I could pass you. However, I see your position as more uh, on the cusp, poised on the precipice between passing and failing. The tiniest gust of wind could blow you in either direction. Which way do you see the wind blowing, Mr. Roman? It's fine, right? Do you know what the defining moment for me was? It was right at the end. You failed to crimp your wheels to the curb, and we were parked on a 15% incline. My course was clear. Sir, I'm begging you. Don't you understand how important this is to me? Of course I do. You think you're the only over-eager teenager with a lead foot I've stopped from being a danger on our public roads? Well, you're not. 
<laughs> Sir, can't you understand how I feel? Don't you have any compassion? Hey, you kids! Get away from my car! Do you know how much grease there is on the human hand? <laughs> and I'm only guessing you're human. Now get away! <laughs> Putting compassion aside, Mr. Roman, I sincerely hope you have a working bicycle, because according to the laws of the great state of Pennsylvania, you're going to need it for at least three months. But, sir... And the next time we're in a car together, I would appreciate you not staring at me as if you're undressing me with your eyes. <laughs> Ah, here's my little king of the road. Hey, congratulations, buddy. Today you are a man. No, today I am a loser. <laughs> what? I failed, Joe. I failed my driving test. You failed? Matt, I taught you everything. I didn't crimp. I didn't crimp. <laughs> crimping? What's crimping? I've driven thousands of miles. I've never once crimped. Oh, it's some hangar thing. Some little technical thing you've never heard of. Oh, you know what? This is absolute bull. Well, real driving expert already passed you, pal. Me. It doesn't matter anyway. My life is over. Look, man, you don't be so bad out of shape over this, all right? It's, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's no big deal that you failed your driving test. <laughs> Matt, I am so sorry. I know how hard you studied for this. Yeah, the thing that really gets me is I think Mr. Hangarter really enjoyed it. Oh, oh, Mr. Hangarter? I hate him. You know him? Ms. Davis, perhaps you should take your pretty little curls to a home economics class because it's obvious you'll never learn anything about cars. Right then and there, I decided to learn everything I possibly could about automotive science. Way to go, Lou. You showed him. Well, I suppose. Of course, I was early acceptance pre-law. <laughs> right now, I could be in a Mercedes instead of under one. I don't even know the guy, and I hate him. Take anyone! Right? <laughs> don't worry. What could be wrong with a little afternoon treat? Congratulations, Matt. Our newest river. <laughs> Long may you flow. <laughs> Excuse me. What you won't do for a piece of cake? <laughs> na, 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 na. Listen, Veronica, just because I can't drive you doesn't mean we can't go together. We can still walk to the... Hello? Hey, Matt, want to borrow my bike? <laughs> Shut up, Andy. I'm not Andy. I'm Randy, his evil twin. Oh, excuse me, Randy. Shut up, Randy. I see why you're upset. Looks like I'll be driving before you. <laughs> Andy, ew. Oh, I despise that weakling. Coming, Mom. There's nothing like a good bath. Hey, Matt, you want to go check out a movie? You mean, do I want my big brother to drive me to the movies? No, thanks. Poor kid. You know, somebody's got to do something. I think I'm going to go over and talk to this hangar guy. Where does he live? Oh, you can't do that. Why not? Look, nobody could have been more prepared than Matt was. I think that he just got rattled. Somebody has to tell this guy. Joe, I don't think you should do that. All right, you're right. I'm overstepping my bounds here. You should, because you're his mother. I can't. Hangout scares me. <laughs> so much for the mother tiger myth. <laughs> Maybe Matt would be better off if he didn't get his license for another three months. Oh, you see? I knew it. This is not about you being afraid of Mr. Hangarter. This is about you being afraid of Matt growing up. That is not true. Uh, you know what I think? You don't want Matt to get his license because you want to keep him a kid. I do not want to keep him a kid. But my heart is in my throat every time he drives off in that car. Now, maybe seeing my husband die on the racetrack has something to do with that. But I think I did a pretty good job of not showing that fear to Matt. You have. But to fail a kid on a technicality and make him wait three more months? I mean, Claire, when you're 16, that's like forever. I know, Joe, but... And it... you know what, Claire? If Dad were here, he would want one of us to stand up for Matt. Okay? You know, you study hard, you play by the rules, and what does it get you? A big pot full of nothing. <laughs> it's just not fair. I mean, that Mr. Hangarter completely ruined my senior year. Yeah. He didn't ruin either of mine. <laughs> I never got mad at Hangar. I got even. Sounds evil. Cheer with us, stranger. I took on a secret identity. I became the Masked Avenger. 
Wow, you were the mass Avenger? Oh, cool. My exploits have been passed on from generation to generation. Actually, I was just humoring you. <laughs> so, Lloyd, what'd you do to him? Every day, I'd sneak into the classroom, steal his sandwich, and replace it with a note that said, The masked Avenger strikes again! <laughs> you guys are all pathetic. Look, Matt, did you deserve to pass that test? Yes. And there was no justice, and when there's no justice, you have to make your own. How? I don't know, you gotta do something stupid. <laughs> Joe, you don't know Mr. Hangar. Matt, come on, he's only a teacher. Oh, Joe, he is mean. Every day, right after lunch, he'd become furious with me and make me polish his car. For no reason. <laughs> Good thing you never found out you were the Mass Avenger, Lloyd. That stupid red Pontiac? He loved that car. He still got it. Okay, I have an idea. I have an incredibly stupid idea. This sounds dangerous. You're gonna get me in trouble, aren't you, Joe? Oh, for crying out loud, listen to the man. <laughs> All right, and when you do something like this, there's three ways that it can go. You can get caught and pay the price. You can get away with it, in which case you become God. Or... <laughs> okay, there's only two ways. <laughs> but only one of those ways is actually gonna happen. Matt, for once, I actually agree with Joe. Me too. I think it's obvious why, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right. I'm sick of being cautious, of looking before I leap. For once in my life, I don't want to take a bath without scraping my butt in those stupid non-skid daisies. All right, we'll meet at the school at uh, 1,800 hours. That's over two months from now, but... I guess it's better to plan ahead. from outside. All right. Yeah. Ooh. How great is this? Who does this? Gods do this. If Zeus ever failed driver's ed, this is what he'd do. I scare me. I wonder what I'm gonna do next. You're gonna go out there and stand next to Lou. I'm on it, Joe. <laughs> all right, buddy. I'm all done. You? All done. All I have to do now is leave my calling card. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, hurry up, all right? We're gonna all meet back at the garage for a debriefing. Actually, I'd rather do that in the privacy of my home. But I'll stop by anyway. You never had a hunch who kept stealing your lunch. But now I've gone past it, you're no good old... driving teacher. Signed, The Masked Avenger. <laughs> Uh-oh. How'd it go? How'd it go? Mission accomplished, bud. Ah, uh, you should have been there, kiddo. Yeah, I'll stop being evil when he got to be in bed by eight. <laughs> I can't believe we actually did it. The perfect crime. Like clockwork, man. Yes. Good job. How do you feel, buddy? Like a man, Joe. Like a man who has just done what? Something incredibly stupid. <laughs> yes! We're, We're stupid, stupid men! men. We're, We're stupid, stupid men. men! Hey, guys! What about me? Can I be a stupid man, too? <laughs> You're in, as of tonight. You are an honorary stupid man. <laughs> you know, I just wish I could see the look on his face when he walks into his office Monday morning and sees his car. <laughs> Matt Roman, you are the greatest prankster of all times. You are even better than Lloyd. Now, there is one of the great stupid men of our time. <laughs> so where is Lloyd anyway, huh? I don't know. We should have been here by now. 39 bottles of beer on the wall. 39 <laughs> bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 38 bottles of beer on the wall. 38 bottles of beer on the wall. All right, there's no answer, so he's not at home. Okay, nobody panic. Let's just retrace our steps. All right, let's see. Uh, you guys left. Uh, Lloyd started to write his note. I reattached the door. Then I squeezed out. Hold then we it. All you squeezed out? Yeah, what? He's in the car. He's trapped in the car. 
Joe, how could you leave him in the car? I don't know, Matt. Uh, I'm just a stupid man. You know? Not funny. He's gonna squeal on us. I know it. Even if someone finds him, he won't squeal. Look, we'd never rat us out. Guys, breakfast. He hasn't eaten in six hours. He sells out for a pack of cocktail peanuts. Ah, uh, Joe, he's right. Damn it, I know he is. All right, we're just gonna have to go back in. What are we gonna tell Mom? Don't worry. I'll make something up. She'll believe anything her beloved Andy tells her. <laughs> you're a very strange little kid, but I'm glad you're on our side. Let's go. Where is everybody? Out. Do what? Well, Joe, for instance. Take Joe. He's uh, passing on hot meals down the homeless shelter. Really? And Matt? Matt? My brother Matt. He's at school doing homework with stupid kids. <laughs> Andy, you know, you don't have to lie to me. I know that they're all out cheering up Matt because he's so depressed. You got me, Mom. <laughs> I never seen Matt so depressed in my life. And I didn't even stand up for him. Excuse me, I have to make a phone call I should have made two days ago. Oh, all this stupid... Sunday morning. <laughs> Get out of the way, Orson. What? Mr. Hangarder, this is Claire Roman. I'm calling about my son, Matt. Um, we need to talk. It's important right away. My office, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Don't be late. Don't lick me. <laughs> Tell the truth. Shut up. You must. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I sense there is a good Andy and a bad Andy here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, and I think the bad Andy could get the good Andy in an awful lot of trouble. Eee. Like no TV for a month for either one of you? I had nothing to do with it, Mom. I swear, it wasn't my idea. They made me. I'm leaving all the guy. Please don't take away my TV. Don't take away my TV. <laughs> Boy, I find it hard to believe you were able to pull any pranks on this guy without getting caught. It's hard to get trapped inside a paper bag, Joe. Please get me out of here. Would you guys hurry up? It's daylight. We're going to get caught. Let's settle down. It's Sunday. We have all day to get Lloyd out. Not exactly. Oh, what are you doing here? Don't give me this. What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Well, it was Joe's idea. Yeah, Mom, Joe. <laughs> Joe made me do it. So much for all for one. I don't care whose fault it is. Hang Otter is on his way here, and he's going to be here any minute. Why is he coming here on Sunday, Claire? I called him up and asked him. <laughs> oh, what would make you do something like that? Joe made me. It was Joe's idea. <laughs> well, you're the one who told me to stand up to him. Not now. You had 20 years to do it. You decided to pick the one day we decided to put his car in his office? <laughs> I'm not going to drive for the rest of my life. Okay, let's just concentrate on getting Lloyd out and we'll deal with the car later. Lou, I really don't think you're in any position to be making suggestions. Oh, actually, I am. I just saw Handgarter walk into the building. Plan B! Hi. I bet you don't remember me. Of course I do. Claire Cooper, homecoming queen of her sophomore year. Little Miss Perfect. <laughs> Except in your class. Life can't be all early rewards. Are you still using your rearview mirror to touch up your lipstick? No, I am not. And you know why? Because I gave you a hard time about it. Yes, you certainly did. And I always wondered why you had to be so mean to us. Think back. Do you remember any of the teachers who let you coast? Even more important, do you remember anything from the lessons they taught you? Of course not. But I guarantee you, every student I ever had remembers me. Those were great times. So how about if we go get a cup of coffee and talk about them? Don't you think we'd be more comfortable in my office? <laughs> Mr. Hingarder, Matt is a really good kid. They're all good kids. That's why I try to keep them alive. You, more than anyone, know how dangerous cars are. Yes, I do. I was really sorry to hear about Mike. That's probably why I was so hard on his son. <laughs> By the way, how did you get my car in there? Oh, he had help. Very inventive. <laughs> so you're not furious? I just gave out my final grades. I'd be very disappointed if somebody wasn't out to get me. 
Now let's go put the fear of God into that son of yours. You're a very good man, Mr. Hangarter. Keep that to yourself, Mrs. Roman. <laughs> go! Oh, hurry up, we're living on borrowed time. The loan just came due. It's Mr. Hangarter! Mom! Well, I couldn't stop him. Can't pull the wool over my eyes. I don't care what people may think. Isn't that right, Masked Avenger? <laughs> you knew? Of course I knew. I also know that you're supposed to be mechanics. Miss Davis, I expect this car to be back in its parking space by morning. Yes, sir. And you, Mr. Roman, I will consider this incident when reviewing your situation three months from now. It's going to be fun. <laughs> and you, what are you looking at? Let me tell you a little something, buddy. Yes? You got a little rust problem with your crankcase. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Excellent. And you, Mrs. Roman, I expect you to find suitable punishment for all of them when you get them home. Yes, sir. You have one more son, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. Tell him I'll be waiting for him. <laughs> The entire crew was found guilty of malicious mischief. <laughs> Joe and Lou were ordered to donate five weekends performing free maintenance on school vehicles. <laughs> Lloyd was ordered to polish Mr. Hangarter's car every day right after lunch. <laughs> Matt Roman was grounded until the turn of the century. <laughs> Randy Roman was sent away forever. Andy Roman will have to face Mr. Hangarder in the year 2004.